What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I chose Microsoft Azure over AWS and GCP. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform are the three main cloud providers. AWS is the most popular, followed by Microsoft Azure, and then there's GCP in third place. Whichever of these three cloud providers that you use, they're all really good, in demand, and there are many job opportunities for each of them. With AWS and Azure being the leading cloud providers and GCP following behind, these three are in a league of their own. But there are a few other cloud providers that I should mention. Alibaba Cloud, IBM Cloud, Oracle Cloud, and there are a few others also. So with all these cloud providers out there and all this choice to make, how does one decide which cloud provider to specialize in and go for as they start their career? The mentor that I had when I was starting my career specialized in AWS and Google Cloud Platform. In addition to that, AWS was the most popular cloud provider at the time, and it still is. So you might think, if this was the case, why didn't I go for AWS? Why did I end up going for Microsoft Azure over the most popular and the cloud provider that my mentor was studying and specialized in? When I decided what cloud platform I would use, there was about five things that swayed me in this direction. And just a disclaimer, I'm not pushing anyone towards Azure over AWS or GCP or any others. I'm just giving my personal reasoning and hopefully this can help others to decide what cloud provider they want to specialize in, whether that is Microsoft Azure, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, or one of the others. So the first thing I'd say that kind of swayed me towards Azure is that my mentor, although he studied AWS and Google Cloud Platform, he didn't push me towards a specific direction we had a lot of conversation about cloud in general, and he never specifically told me to go ahead and study AWS or go ahead and study Google Cloud Platform. So he didn't use his bias and he left me to sort of figure things out on my own. So he gave me some guidance on cloud engineering, but left me to figure out what platform I wanted to specialize in on my own. That's a good mentor. The second thing that swayed me in the direction of Microsoft Azure was an interview that I did. I interviewed for a graduate role for a junior cloud engineer, and this role specialized in the use of Microsoft Azure for Kubernetes and several other things, which I've completely forgotten by now. So I didn't end up getting the role because I just wasn't a good fit for the company and I didn't have enough knowledge about cloud computing already. They wanted someone who really had a great interest and had gone away, studied out Azure, perhaps had some practical experience in Azure with projects or whatever the case may be. And so the fact that I didn't get this interview kind of prompted me to learn a bit more about Azure and make sure that I'm aware of this cloud provider so that if I get a similar type of interview, I'll be able to get the job and get my first graduate role. I went off and did some research on Azure and that kind of sparked my interest to work in this area a lot more. The third reason that I chose Azure over the other cloud providers was my familiarity with Microsoft and Windows. I had been using Windows all my life for school, university, at home, wherever the case may be, I had a Windows laptop or a Windows desktop that I was using. I was already so familiar with Windows and I also used Office 365 for everything. So I used Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and I was really familiar with Microsoft stuff already. So I felt like it just made sense to go with the Microsoft option for a cloud provider because yes, of course, I do use Google a lot and I did use Amazon, but it didn't feel the same as the way I used Microsoft products since I was young and since I was like five years old. So this was a big factor in swaying me towards Microsoft Azure. I was so familiar with Microsoft technology already. I already had a few months experience of working with Windows laptops. And so this really swayed me and helped me to make my decision. The fourth factor that I wanna mention is Microsoft certification. Before I chose which cloud provider I wanted to use, I had already taken a Microsoft certification called the MTA Database Fundamentals. And so because of that, I already had some familiarity with Microsoft certifications. And when I discovered the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals certification, that really helped me because I was already familiar with taking certifications with Microsoft and I felt like I could pass this easily and get some knowledge on Azure and then use that moving forward. I thought to myself, I've already passed one of these before. It shouldn't be that hard to get this as your fundamental certification. And from there, I'll be so much more prepared to answer questions and in interviews and that sort of thing. And the final factor that swayed my decision to choose Microsoft Azure over the other cloud providers 
was a little bit of my personal research. When I say research, I don't really mean research. I mean more of the things that I found out and I saw and I heard from other people. So maybe that is research. I don't know, you tell me. For example, when I used to use LinkedIn, I used to use the search a lot and find out different things about the industry. When I was deciding my cloud provider I wanted to use, I saw that there were so many AWS engineers out there and not as many as your engineers. And because I knew that Azure was getting very popular and had so many jobs available, it made sense for me to go with Azure as I knew there was a demand for jobs with that skill set of being able to use Azure. And that's not to say that AWS didn't have a lot of roles available. It's just to say that a lot of people were going in the direction of AWS. And this made me feel like there'll be a lot of competition when it comes to applying for jobs. And I could have said different for Google Cloud Platform also, because there were very few engineers working with Google Cloud Platform. And so if one was to go and get their certifications in Google Cloud and learn about Google Cloud, there wouldn't be as much competition as if they were learning about AWS or even Azure. All this is not to say that Azure is better and go for Azure. It's just to say that these are the reasons that I went for Azure and you have your own reasons for going for your own cloud provider and whichever one you go for, there will be jobs available. Cloud engineering is a great career and these cloud providers are great areas to have skills in. In the comments section, please let me know what cloud provider that you're studying or you're skilled in and let me know the reasons that you went for that cloud provider over the others. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on socials, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.